Hi there, Great Eights, and today I'm going to teach you guys the difference between series circuits and parallel circuits using our snap circuit sets. So, what we're going to need is some cells, all our batteries, and some circuit boards to place those cells on. Then, we're going to use some wires, some bulbs, and some switches. So, let me first show you what a circuit in series is. Right, oh grade 8s, what we're going to do is we're going to utilize our circuit board. Then we're going to take our cells or our batteries and we're going to place them on the circuit board. Then we want to connect our light bulbs. Now I have three light bulbs here and first of all, before we connect our light bulbs, we want to have a switch. So this is a simple switch. As you can see, it can either be opened up or closed by moving the button. So what we're going to do is place the switch and then connect it. This is our wire. You can see that it's a plate so it's conductive. It can connect the different pieces. There we go. First one in. Then we are going to connect our first light bulb with another piece then we are going to connect our second light bulb let's just have a look and then I want to connect my third light bulb then after that I want to be able to connect my circuit all together again but in order to do that I'm just going to use a wire that will close our circuit but as you can see the button is not turned on yet so in order to open our circuit we switch it on and there you can see all the lights are working in series the current starts flowing here from our cells through the switch then past our first light bulb through our second light bulb through our third light bulb through the connecting wire and back towards our cells this is now a closed circuit and there we have an open circuit as the switch is off right grade 8s let's build a parallel circuit so the aim here is to try and see if we can separate the circuits. So I want to try and see if we can connect two switches. Let's see here, I've got a switch there and I want to now separate the switch. So, okay, right over here what I've done is I have split up two different switches. Then I want to connect two different light bulbs. So, light bulb on that side and a light bulb on this side. So now you can see the stream gets separated and the current is going to flow that way and then down this way. Then I want to bring this stream back together again. So in order to do so, I will need to see if I can reconnect the stream with one another. So just see. That way, and this way, I might, let's just see here how I'm going to do this. Let's see, that's one way, okay, there we go, okay. Now I'm going to utilize the wire again and just close the circuit down, one click away. Okay, so with regards to parallel circuits guys, this is where you split up your stream and you want the light bulbs to work individually. So we've got two switches 
If I were to switch on that switch, this light bulb would be able to work without this whole stream here. So let's see if it works. It does, the light bulb in fact shines. Now, if I were to switch on that uh, switch over here, this light bulb would be able to work as well. And it does. Now, if I were to switch off that switch, only that switch would switch off. So that is how parallel circuits differ from that of series circuits. Right, Grade Aids, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you understood the difference between parallel circuits and series circuits, be sure to smash that like button and also leave me a comment down below what other types of videos you want me to help you out with. Also, remember, if you don't understand something, go and read up a little bit more about it. For my Grade eights, I'll see you guys on your extra classroom, Google Classroom, for some extra classes. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. See you guys next time. Bye for now.